Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I am Sonia and I will be doing your tarot reading for the month of June. This is going to be a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you completely, that's okay. Just take the messages that do and leave the rest. So we're, we're literally just going to jump right in. No hesitation. I am ready to do this reading for you, Scorpio. So let's see what the month of June has in store. Um, I feel like a lot of things happened for you during May. A lot of things that you probably didn't expect to happen. Um, I'm sensing like a lot of small but impactful changes. You know, sometimes the things that we go through don't have to be huge. You know, they don't have to be like this crazy big event but it it does um like the small things that do happen leave an impact and i think that the month of may was full of a lot of little small events that kind of just changed a lot of things for you so let's see how that is going to translate in the month of june and what else we can expect There was a page of cups that wanted to come out, but I, I kind of stopped it in its tracks. Maybe I, I should have um, let it let it go. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the star. So I definitely feel like a lot of what happened in May was kind of preparing you for this moment of like, okay, I'm finally ready to take all of that and let it really fuel everything that I'm becoming in this moment. And behind it, Lo and behold is the world card. And behind the world card is also the two of cups. So I don't want to say that love is automatically going to be a part of this reading. But with the two of cups, the world and the star, I can't help but feel like someone might be noticing you. Um, and I, I also feel like this is a totally new person. Like this is not someone from your past. Um, and I think you also realized in this Mer Mercury retrograde that just passed that things are in the past for a reason and certain people, you know, we shouldn't allow them to come back in our lives because they didn't see us as exactly who we are. And you're realizing how important that is because every time that you've allowed someone to see you differently than exactly as what you are, you you fade you, you your light dims and you you don't deserve that you're the star your light should shine so let's see what cards we got so we got the everything is fine card so we love to see that um, we got the queen of wands the page of wands the eight of swords the nine of cups okay okay the eight of cups so that's interesting we got eight and eight and the seven of swords okay so i feel like you walked away from something that you you knew you knew you had to walk away from this whether it be a person a place a friendship um, I don't think it's job related, but I it could be, but I, right now I don't think it's job related. I feel like this is very much in your relationships with people. Um, I feel like you definitely left something behind that you just, you got tired of, of having to deal with some sort of deception. Um, either someone was deceiving you or you were deceiving yourself. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of, um... Like in the past, there was a lot of self-sabotage. 
Those are the words I'm getting. There was a lot of self-sabotage and you know, it's like in that moment, you don't realize that you're doing it to yourself until you realize that you're doing it to yourself. And that's something that's hard to admit. And I feel like in the past, you've you've tried to kind of hide from that or you've tried to ignore it or, or kind of like pretend that it's not happening. But I feel like in the month of June, you're really, really starting to step into this Queen of Wands energy where you're like, I know that I deserve better. I know that I want more out of life and I know that it's up to me in order to make that happen. I have to nurture this for myself. I have to do this. I have to care for me because now is the time to do it. I haven't done a very good job in the past. And I can tell you that you haven't done a very good job of this in the past. You've self-sabotaged, you've let other things and other people get in your way, but now you're finally like, you're like, no. No, because you have the, the Nine of Cups. You're more than ready to be self-sufficient. I feel like you relied on people and you realized that that did nothing but disappoint you and make you self-sabotage. And now I think with the Page of Wands, it's like you're looking for every single opportunity to remind yourself of why you don't need anyone else. Okay, let me repeat that. You are looking and open for any opportunity that allows you to remember why you don't need anyone else. You're like, of course, I'm going to take this next step. Of course, this new adventure is mine and I'm not afraid of it because I freaking deserve it. Like, if I've come this far by myself, I'm going to keep going. You're the star. You realize that now. N now more than ever, are you realizing your power? I feel like in the past, and this is something that you were probably closing out in the month of May, you realize that for so long, you've been ignoring your truth. You've been ignoring everything that is absolutely amazing about yourself because of other people. Other people have made you turn the blindfold on or put the blindfold and just step back and let everything happen around you without remembering that you have power. You are the queen of wands. You can and will nurture yourself because you are more than capable. You're capable of changing your life. I think that's what's really happening this month is you're going to start to realize in a lot of different areas of your life, not just in relationships, not just in work, not just in anything. You're, you're starting to realize in all around in all the areas that you are capable of changing the course of your life to what you want now it's not going to come without conflict and without other people involved because after the two of cups is the five of wands and the five of wands is conflict so it's not going to be easy you're still going to have to deal with people because unfortunately you don't live in your own little world although sometimes i know you wish you did and I, you know, it's like I keep seeing these cards and I can't help it. But behind the five of wands is the lovers. And then we have the sun and the ace of cups. So are, do you see this? Ace of cups, sun, lovers. And then, of course, we have five of wands. But then we have the two of cups and the world. So really, there's only one bad card in that in that little um, section there and it's the five of wands and all that's saying is that there's going to be conflict but I also have a feeling this conflict is between you yourself and you it's like June probably will test you in ways that you didn't think you would be tested or that you could be tested but it's like the universe is going to throw you these little it's not going to be crazy it'll be like a pop quiz but it'll it'll put you in situations where you'll have to really face yourself once and for all and be like okay no i learned that lesson already like 10 times why am i going to learn it again i already know the truth i already know i'm the star and i'm capable i know that i can nurture myself because i finally believe in myself you're believing in yourself in a way that you haven't done in a really long time in a really, really long time. And I think it's because you finally chose to walk away and maybe be on your own for a little bit, but because you know that that's the true path.
to getting everything that you want for yourself. Because you also know that you can't have this beautiful, amazing partnership without establishing your own self-sufficiency first. You understand that now. You're understanding all of these things better than you ever have. That's what I think June is about. And considering that it's pretty much the half of the like half of the year, I don't that doesn't surprise me. You know, you're you're starting to really take hold of everything that you've learned up on this point and you're choosing to not wait for any particular moment. You're choosing right now to start making changes because you understand things. Let's get another card. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. This is just Ace of Wands. Did I not just say you were starting to, to realize things? You're starting to think in ways that you have never thought before. You're thinking of ways to better yourself in, in like from a powerful standpoint. You're thinking, what can I invest in for me? What do I love that I want to do for me? You're not thinking about Johnny. You're not thinking about Timmy. You're not thinking about Tommy. And you're not thinking about Jimmy. You're thinking about you. You're like, what do I want to spend time on? What do I want to explore and use with, with my power? Your imagination is, is like opening all the doors. That's what's happening. So I, I'm so excited for you. I think this month of June is going to be absolutely amazing. And... I I just I am very excited for you and I hope you like this video if you want to see more please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you did like it and I hope to see you soon